right, this ticket, the, the little things I had was 82 and the Russian motor 298. So, let's see what we finna get. All right, so I'm sitting here taking it, trying to get ready to take this. Um, I think it's a compressor. Yeah, it's an air compressor. I'm sitting here getting ready. I'm taking it apart and everything. I took this panel off, and I think I took, yeah, the other panel off on the other side. I took that panel off and the other panel on the other side, that other, the front panel, this panel was already off and it was disconnected from wherever it was at. I don't even know if it was connected, but it might've been. Anyway, I'm sitting here going through it. Like why was it taken apart, halfway taken apart and it probably wasn't really hooked up. It got, that's the running hours. How many running hours it ran? And I guess they try to keep track of the um, time that ran or whatnot. But that's besides the point. These are, I guess those are air filters maybe. This is like it could be an air filter. The top, the top have an air filter. No, nah, that's not air filter, that's a, uh, a condenser or something like that. But this is a big industrial air compressor. And obviously it stopped working. I didn't take the panel off. I didn't take I didn't take that panel off. It was already taken to loose. Like the front this panel was off. <laughs> But yeah, what I'm finna do is um, trying to get gain as much access to this thing as possible. Oh, it's a motor up here. It's a fan. I ain't even see that. <laughs> I'm sitting here broken this thing down, took the top off, got this side panel off, and I'm trying to take this boat off. I'm gonna take this condenser, cooler, radiator thing, whatever it is. I'm about to take that off too. And I need to get to this boat, and I couldn't get to it with this filter on the now from my experience, even though it's sitting it's sitting up there sideways and only a little bit spilled out. From my experience, when you take a filter off, no matter how long the system been drained or whatnot, it should have been more oil. It should have been more oil inside this filter than what's, what's in there now. Now, maybe they drained it, but highly unlikely that they drank this thing. It probably just a little oil. I thought somebody was in here for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this, this flashlight on the back thing he throwing off and making it seem like the sunlight is coming in. But anyway, electrical wires, I'm going to take them out of there. And hopefully I can uh, sell the wire to the junkyard, seeing how it comes with the motor. Because they ain't they, they not taking nothing. They ain't taking no wires unless you got Don Juan business card or business license, whatever they say. It's all this damn noise out here. Anyway, that's what I'm about to do. I'm gonna take that boat out. 
I got, I'm going to test the drain on here. Or what not. But yeah, this is how it looks. All right, so I got it out. I didn't record it, but basically I just took the four bolts out. I loosened up the four bolts. 22 millimeter. Yeah, it was a 22 millimeter. 22 millimeter, and uh, where's my crusher wrench? And my crusher wrench I put on the, um, up under it. Um, got them loose or whatnot. And because of how it was sitting there, I think this thing slides on this rail. Either way, it's difficult to get out. You probably would have to take the engine out, move the engine out, and you can slide this thing either way. But all I did was loosen up the bolts, enough for it to drop down a little bit. I took the connections off of there, and I went on that side, and I tilted it up from this side. I lift up on it to get for the first two to fall off or to come from up under it. And then I came on this side. I came on this side of the engine and I hooked this ratchet strap up to it to give me enough strength to pull it. And that's what, that's what I did. And I just, I just pulled it off of it. Now what I'm finna do next is get the connections, the copper co um, cables and everything. And I want to get the engine too, because it'll probably get a few dollars off of it. But I'm thinking, I don't think the, the scrap yard is going to take, take it with the oil in it. I don't have nothing to drain the oil in. So I'm not certain about it right now, but all I'm going to do now is get, all I'm going to do now is get this, get these off of. I don't even know if it's a cop or what you call it. I'm gonna cut one of these real quick. Let's see if it's worth. It looked like copper, but I'm not certain if it is. But I'm gonna see if it's worth to, uh, to go through the troubles of. Uh, but this one I'm gonna get because obviously it's longer and it's more open. But sometimes these don't even be copper, so I might not I'm not I might not mess with those right there, because this don't even look like copper. It look like um, aluminum. So I'm gonna have to open it up real quick. Yeah, it's aluminum, so I just slice into it. Yeah, like I said, I ain't mess with it the uh, gray part I'm not gonna mess with the gray part what I'm gonna do is pull out I'm just gonna pull out these wires right here the red green blue black white and the uh, uh, rest of that right there <clears throat> and I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna pick this damn thing up and put on the put on the golf cart Stay scrap hall. This is motor. Some electrical wires. And these aluminum things. I got like a hundred more of these. But I can only get these in right now. On the way to the scrap yard. Alright, this ticket. The, the aluminum things I had was 82 and the electric motor 298. So Let's see what we finna get. So, I'm getting ready to pull off from this scrap yard. So, the normal 82, 45 cent a pound, $36. The electric motor, $59. They won't accept the f the wires. And I can show it on video of the wires being with them. They still just won't. They won't accept them. They won't accept the 